Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to January's layout share. So I'm quite pleased. I mean, January was a little bit of a crazy month for me. We had quite a bit um, going on. As you know, my mom got out of the hospital on the 5th of January. She was in quarantine for two weeks. We had a lot, a lot going on uh, administratively at the office and things that we had to get done, you know, for the beginning of the year and, and that kind of stuff. So it's been a bit of a crazy month, but then of course we are still pretty much on full, not pretty much, we are on full lockdown, um, with even a curfew. So at least, you know, when I'm not working or at my mom's, I am here. So I still managed to get quite a bit done, um, this month. I won't spend an awful lot of time on each of these uh, layouts because of course there are videos for every single one. But, you know, since you have said that you love seeing them all in one place, let's just have a quick look at what I got done for January. So I'm gonna start with the items that I got done for my December documented uh, album. I still, I worked quite a bit on it and that makes me very happy uh, because I really don't have too, too much left. So I'm pretty sure that Christmas in February will be a full flip through um, of that album. Now, can you wait until the 25th or would you like to see it sooner? If it's ready sooner, leave me a comment down below. So this was for one of the inspired by online scrapbooking classes. And it was a fun layout based on the mixed media backgrounds from Sarah Scraps on her YouTube membership. I love this. This is a fun little six by eight, just you and me about my little guy, Chopin and I. And it's sort of the introductory part to uh, my Christmas Eve, which I think I have here as well, my Christmas Eve. Is that here? Because if it is, I should, oh, I don't know. Hmm. Well, that's silly because I'm missing so I'm missing a couple of um, layouts here. Anyway, there you go, a couple of um, six by eights. Uh, this one I made for Christmas in January, which is another six by eight. And this was more, and this is more a little bit, if you recall here, I did some hidden, hidden journaling. I was using the uh, Tracy Reed collection here, uh, Stay Home for the Holidays. I used here my sort of, go to one third, two third design. And this is the journaling and the adventure for want of a better word of mom being in the hospital for three weeks over the Christmas uh, holidays. And here, if you recall, I put some vellum on top and these lovely snowflakes are on the outside. These are from Redefine Creative. Um, this one you just saw uh, probably was it yesterday, yesterday or the day before for my Nicole Jones 911 design team projects. So this one, and there is a four by six missing here too. I, know, I thought I was all prepared. Hmm. Oh, well, and it's, it's a bit of a shame because we're missing really the fun, uh, Christmas Eve ones. Anyway, I'll, I'll just pop in when I do, uh, when I do my leftovers, for the How to Kill a Kit with Style, I'll just pop them in so that you can see them. Now for the 12 by 12 uh, layouts, this was also for an inspired by online scrapbooking classes. This um, that I'm doing, of course, with my lovely friend Karina, which I forgot to mention a couple of minutes before, who does it over on Instagram. And this was uh, one of the Stash Bash Paloozas. And I love that I did black background here. And on this one, this was my fun Friday find of the antique linen acrylic paint. This one, I think, this one, did I just do it? I certainly know um, that it's my design. I didn't follow sketch, so it's not a sketch Sunday. Um, I don't remember, is it? I don't think it's the grab five. I don't actually remember, but I love it. It's sort of black and cream. Oh, it's Baby Got Scraps. There you go. It's that page kit, Baby Got Scraps, that I put together uh, using all of the Gingham Farm and other little black and cream items. And then because I use this fun photo, I put these pops of red and did these two little clusters with some of the Nicole Jones Digi prints. 
I love this might be this might be my favorite layout this month because of the photo of course as well um, then this one uh, was a sketch Sunday and as you know this year for our sketch Sundays we are doing 30 days of sketches revisited of course but we are also branching out a little bit to some of our friends um, who are doing some sketches and this was a sketch that Sarah Scraps uh, did and published and we thought that we would use it and I love it it's got some mixed media here and some mixed media on the background which is patterned paper and then even on the layer here so I kind of love that this was the first layout that I did for Shannon's uh, from She's Crafty her mini paper pad class and the first mini paper pad that I had chosen was the Hustle and Heart and I got so carried away having fun making this one that I forgot to use the sketch. There was a sketch with this, which is not this. <laughs> so there. I love this one with the journaling around the sides. This is going into my Italy album. This is also for my Italy album. And this is also for the mini paper pad class. And the second layout that I did with um, the hustle and heart and this time I did follow the sketch and we used it for a sketch Sunday this one was the first dedicated project that I did for uh Nicole Jones 911 um designs my DT uh project the first one of January but I combined it with um an inspired by online scrapbooking classes in which I used Nicole's scrapathon six about habit so doing a design that divides the page in two and there are so many different ways of doing that I went with a fun diagonal this is also going into my Italy and this is using my how to kill a kit with style this is also using my how to kill a kit with style and this was for stretch the sketch and this one I really love. So I took a 12 by 12, shrunk the individual pages, and then stretched it to a double eight and a half by 11. And I flipped this one. So I had lots and lots of fun with this. So if you haven't seen that, go back. And if you haven't seen the, the whole hop of the stretch your sketch, go back because this month in particular was some awesome, awesome takes. This is um, another sketch Sunday. Is it another sketch? No. Um, is this sketch Sunday? No, this is the... Yeah, no, it is. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. It is. It was another sketch Sunday. Just actually, I think, this past Sunday. And this, I am using my How to Kill a Kit with Style for January and the Italy album. This is for the mini paper pad class last Sunday and I did use the sketch the sketch called for hearts I went with stars and it's actually a companion page to this one so they were both published on the first on the same Sunday last Sunday and they're sort of not I wouldn't call it a double page but definitely a companion page and then this one which is another one of my absolute favorites for January that you just saw on Friday as we celebrated my lovely, lovely and dear friend Sarah Scraps, her five-year anniversary on YouTube. You might still be working your way through uh, many um, of those videos. There were so, so many uh, of us playing along with her. So you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to put down... I don't know if Sarah... If Sarah did a playlist for that hop I'm going to pop it down below and um because I am certainly doing one but if I haven't finished I haven't finished watching all of the gorgeous gorgeous videos that were there um so if Sarah hasn't got her playlist up yet I will be doing one as I watch them and I will come back and add this add the playlist later so that is my January I'm quite quite happy so we did one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven layouts 
So 9, 12 by 12, 2, 8 and a half by 11. And I have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 by 8. And there is another one that I haven't shown you. So 5, 6 by 8 and 4 uh, little pocket pages. You have this one here and a couple that I forgot to show you. So that is me for January. Do you have a favorite? Tell me. Do you have a favorite? And do you have a favorite in some of the series? Because now the mini pad paper class will be ongoing uh, because it was 10 weeks. So it's certainly going through February as well. Stretch the sketch, of course, is every month. Um, inspired by scrapbooking classes is every week. Sketch Sunday is every week. Um, we also have the Scrap 5, um, which I did do. I don't know why that's not here. Oh, that is probably one of the 6 by 8s that missing. Anyway, do you have a favorite layout and do you have a favorite series? Um, leave me a comment down below. And of course, as I say every month when I do the wrap-up of the month, if there is anything in particular you would like to see me do or try, uh, or you'd like to issue me a little bit of a fun challenge, please also do that in the comments down below. And I will see you back here very, very shortly. Thanks for being with me. I appreciate all your comments, all the love and support that I get from you. And if you are not subscribed, I would love, love, love to have you because I have the best subscribers ever. See you soon. Bye, my friends.